Okay. Good morning. Dobro Radok. How are you everyone? Good to see you. Okay, so this is a new talk uh, I've been making uh, exclusively for Ukraine visit. I did it for the first time in Ukraine Trust in our office. And um, it's all about how we in Wix treat code and uh, write code. And uh, we really love the idea of uh, TDD, a clean code. So this is uh, basically a live coding show. And I'm going to, uh, in the beginning, I'll show some definitions. Then we see a real use case from uh, microservices world. And then I'm going to code it with you together. Step by step, we do some refactor, we delete the production code, we write it again. And it's going to be fun, I believe. And uh, so let's start. Okay. <coughs> so you know me from yesterday, nothing to add because it's not that time. But that's it. Okay. So definitions. Speaking TDD, you must see this part. Okay, so everyone who is here doing TDD? Oh, quite a few. Okay, good. So the idea of TDD is like starting with the failing test, starting from our training. You don't care about the presentation, you just write what you need from the test point of view. When you have failing test, you couldn't test the test anymore. You must try the minimum piece of code that makes the test green. After the test is green, you can refactor your code, you can refactor your test. And if there is nice talk about, uh, you know, Martin Fowler, is a good talk about Martin Fowler on refactoring. Talk about the hats. So you have the hat of the refactor, and now you put the hat of the, of the coder and the end of the test. It's very nice. But I choose this one because it's in the middle. And I believe this is repetitive, endlessly pattern. You can go in any time and can say, okay, this is a piece of sheet of code I want to work with. I want to do something else. Every time another guy you work on a project, another guy comes and says, oh, I don't like this if else, I want to do something else. So this is endlessly being done. Okay, so have you read this book? Who read this book? Good, okay. So you can read it. Anyway, it's Uncle Bob. Um, some like it, some don't like it. I think he's a great guy. We're going to touch a few of them in my live coding show. And that's a use case. So people are doing a TDD a live coding with some academic things like let's do a stack or collection or whatever. I'm going to take a real a live a pattern from the internet, from microservices. We'll do it together. So, that's the use case. So, having a quiz server which gives you a prize, you uh, submit a form, you will get, uh, I don't know, a money or something. So, the user is sending a request for getting prize. It goes to the server. The server returns, okay. User gets the prize. Then, this user tries again. It's called database. And since we have primary key, we need constraints or the plate inside the user. We are the plate, the one. And then we have some guys, every time you put money in the internet, there's some guys, assholes, which give you another service. So this guy is trying to bomb us and get more money. And he goes to the server and the database says already played. And in the end, Database is become unfunctional and become lowly. So the pattern I'm talking about in this uh, live coding is a fail fast pattern. We have a new box here which we want to code together. I call it the throttle. So when the, you get the prize, this is like the first type of defense. It goes to the server, you get the prize, and then the second time, nothing goes here. And then here. And listen, it is in memory, and I call it rolling window key daughter. It is in memory implementation. So if you have multiple servers, you may su uh, succeed to a few of them for a uh, type of the server. But the idea is the fail fast. It's like reducing your cost database. Question so far? 
Make, uh, make sense? Understand? Okay. We use it a lot in Wix. Uh, we use it for login scenarios. It, it helps us uh, um, uh, work with the people that try to abuse our system. So, let's start by coding. Start file and we will go in window hotel test. Okay, so I have my file and I'm going to use a spec tool. Who is, who is uh, working with spec tool with Sky Test? Spec tool? Yeah? Okay, so spec tool is, uh, we like it. It has its things and there are lots of Sky Test. The world is improving. We like spec tool. Uh, you know, Eric is writing it. It's very cool. So I'm going to do extend spec with Jeremy. Okay, so we write our test in a, in a specification. Some people call it BDB. I just call it DVD. It's like a, it should be told like a fairy tale, like a story. You can read it before you're sleeping. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm starting. Like, rolling, window, hotel. Shoot. I'm going to do. The first thing I want to do, I want to allow a single request. So let's do it. Allow. <coughs> ah? Ah, yes, sorry about this. Yes. Okay. Okay, sorry about this. So, so I'm going to allow the second request. Allow a single request. In. So as I said in DVD, we start from the test. What do we want to get? So we're gonna say, now we get a, a total. So it's a val total equal new rolling window total. And it's red, so I'm gonna help get help from my IntelliJ. Red class. I like that the first code production will be in the same file. Then I'm going to factor it outside, so I have it in the same file, so I have it over here, so I have my class. And now I'm going to do throttle. dot try wire. And in this case, I'm going to use the IP, so I go to 192, 168, to one and for this uh, purpose, I'm going to choose uh, the controller will get a try. You know, try. You want to try? We're going to use a try, so I can do must be successful try. Okay. So let's now we factor on credit function. Great method to acquire. I'm getting the key. I'm returning the try. In this case, a unit. And that's it. So let's run the test. Let me Let's run the test. Okay, so no implementation, so let's implement it. I want to now implement the minimum set of code to make this test pass. So let's do it. I can do something like a try, like this, or success. Success. And let's run the test again. <coughs> okay, everything good. Now we're going to the second test. Second test, I want to test the max. So I want, let's say I want one request. Okay, allow. So, the second was me, total, total, second request in. Okay. I know I copy the code and we want to refactor it. But I cannot uh, copy the code now, refactor now, because I have, I have a red bar. B, B, fail, right. Okay, 
I have a photo application. I don't like it. We're going to do it afterwards. Now the bar is red. So I'm going to show you. The bar is red. Okay, second test is failing. So let's make the minimum set of codes to make it pass. So obviously, yes, sir. Fear. You don't say that the second request is max request. That's why the, uh, yes, the test should fail. I'm going to do max equal uh, one. Okay, sorry about this. Okay. So for this, I'm going to do max integer. Okay. Okay, equal one. Right again. Okay, so the request is failing, and now I need, I obviously need a counter. Okay, so let's have a counter for this. Uh, basically, don't like it at all. Let's make some refactor to make it more nice. So, first of all, this is very long and not a readable uh, statement. I'm going to do some. I'm using my IntelliJ. Okay, now I see a pattern. I see that I have a, if it's expired to something, else to the new client type wire. Mm -hmm. I want to know. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I'm okay. 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 Sorry about this. Move it there. Dot. And now I'm going to pass a caching loader. So default caching loader. And I'm going to do implementation of the method. I'm going to do an account of that's it. Okay, so I have my uh, cache running setup. Let's remove this one, this one. And I'm going to do something like this uh, locations, there's a get of a key. Yeah, I think I'm going to this. to this The location of the robot bit. This one. Okay. Okay, the fact that I don't need work, I need to now take care of the expiration, so let's do it together. I'm going to do it Okay, thanks. Okay. Expires after write. It will be a um, duration window. So, unit time unit milliseconds. Do you think it will work? Do you think it will work? So it will work. You won. That's good. Because I didn't uh, supply the clock. Let's do it together now. <coughs> so it's yeah. something like ticker, a throttle, ticker. So it's domain. Okay. So the new ticker. I need to pass a log of my nanosecond. Like uh, time units. Maybe second. Okay. 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 Ok
клон. Мода переноска есть мишени мажор меньше. One last thing I want to do, I don't like this if else code. I'm going to use implicit conversion. I know it's anti pattern, we don't like it, but I think it's for this uh, talk, it will be more nicer to see. So let's make it together. So I do implicit def boolean to try in boolean to try unit and when we if b So I'm going to jump to this one. You see, you see, that I have a, a line below that's a loop there. So you know what? The end to end test should look like it's been written by a product guy. It tells you what is the sunny day most functional thing in your system. So we start from the end to end test in the beginning. Samson? Yeah. Please. Yes, find me at Okay. More questions? No? Okay, please. Yes. Uh, this seems probably will be just the most environment and probably some errors in there. Do you write the Okay, good question. Uh, I will say that in the I don't have some currency. So this is the point that developer should be smart and think. I don't believe of writing tests in concurrent way because it's because you have a trade affinity of the JPM and you don't uh, an edge test uh, run to a single core or no multi core. So I believe this is the plan that developer should be uh, uh, smart and we give him a control. We don't write a concurrent test. It takes a lot of effort, it gives you less value. You should be smart and do your whole job. I want them to, I want to uh, 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 focus in my tests, in my functional things, not the concurrent thing, because it's hard work and less value. So you should do, you know what you do. This, this, because this is a tool, and you should also need to think. Okay, good. More questions? Yes, please. Have you tried the PDD, the Behavior Driven Development? We no, we using Inobus, the book. Growing object oriented software guide and test. You know this book? Growing object oriented uh, okay, so we use the goose written by net price, you know net price? So we use uh, how goose sees a TDD, we start with the end to end. We do some acceptance test, we do unit test, we do integration test, we don't use BDD as a BDD. Okay? Yes, please. Uh, what do they use for code coverage? So how do you track this? We don't uh, do code coverage. We don't uh, test our developers. They are grown enough. But if you do DDD, we should be 100% coverage, or at least close to that. We don't do 
cold coverage mechanism and so on, and analytics on the on public. Uh, even didn't uh, agree on the coding convention in Wix. Yes, we don't agree this, but we don't agree on the coding convention. We try to adopt Twitter Scala School, which is a good document. Uh, but no, we don't. We try to be as we didn't as much as uh, possible uh, close to convention, but we, it's it. we consider removing to React and Redux completely. Uh, the fourth guy is today, uh, the doing some not the best, the, the writing the own mock servers, but in which we introduce, I did it myself, a Node.js server, which is the first line of defense of the server, so we have client, node, then all Microsoft is in Scala. So they're going to be in charge of the client and the node. So the TDD will be full cycle. And I provided them a test kit. So they can mock my servers of sorry, Scala because we have a function RPC to be easy for them. So we do do TDD in the content. It's hard, but we do, and then we go toward it. Okay? More question? If someone wants details afterwards, Talk to me about TDD and how we do in weeks, so I'll be more than happy. Okay, so thank you very much.